So the session that I chaired um, was specifically again about graft versus host disease and we had three fantastic um, presenters there for us. So we had uh, Nathaniel Treister um, who is a, a dentist uh, from America and he came across um, and he's spoken for us at EBMT before a couple of years ago um, but unfortunately at the time it was a very brief presentation and we noticed how good this was uh, and the fact that the room was packed and there was many people wanted to listen to him so we've invited him back to give a longer presentation and be able to tell us uh, how best to look after our patients with oral graft versus host disease because it's a very debilitating problem for patients you can't speak properly they have difficulty swallowing they're unable to drink they can't eat and if you've ever had a, a very small ulcer in your mouth you tend to just rub your, your tongue against it all the time and you think, oh, that's really sore. If you can imagine that process in the whole of your mouth taking over your life, you can't think of anything but the sore in your mouth all the time. So Nathaniel was excellent at de describing oral graft versus host disease, what to look for um, and the treatments that are available for it. Uh, we then had uh, Dominique uh, Robert who spoke to us about vaginal GVHD, which is incredibly underreported, both by patients um, because it can be very embarrassing for them to talk about vaginal GVHD but also from the clinicians point of view nurses and doctors we're very poor at asking our patients is this a problem and if you don't ask somebody if this is a problem they're not going to tell you so it's really important and certainly as nurses at the front line of uh, patient care that we say to them do you have a problem? Can you tell me? Is there anything wrong with you? And often patients will sit there and, and not say anything, but you need to ask them specifically, do you have any vaginal graft versus host disease? And you really need to be very, very blunt and ask a very open question. Please tell me about this. I'm not going to be embarrassed. You shouldn't be embarrassed about this because if you keep quiet, it's not going to go away. You need to discuss it, we can then treat it and we can make it better. Um, or we can improve, I hope. We might not always make it better, but hopefully we can improve the symptoms a little bit and, and, and ease some of their discomfort. Our third presentation uh, was from Hildegard Greenix, who is uh, without doubt one of the world leaders in graft versus host disease. And she spoke to us about scleroderma of the skin, which again is an incredibly debilitating condition, causing contractures of the skin, tightening and thickening around around the joints, lack of mobility and movement, um, often increased amounts of pain um, and it just really affects people's quality of life and she spoke about the many therapies that are available for graft versus host disease with scleroderma. Often when there are a lot of treatments for something it means we don't know which one is the best one and that unfortunately is the case. We don't know all the time what is absolutely the best treatment for graft versus host disease. It's such a difficult thing to, um, to deal with. Uh, but Hildegard gave us a fantastic overview of the current state of play um, across Europe and in fact across the world uh, to give us really good information on what we should do for our patients, how we can treat them and how we can improve, we hope, their quality of life. Um, the session was um, full completely. There was not an empty seat, we had nurses sitting all the way on the floor down both uh, channels and stood all the way across the, the back of the wall. So I think if we do a session like this again, we need a bigger room. <laughs>